Hello, 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 how do you do? I'm glad to be with you, and you, and you, and you. It's nice to start the day with a song, right? I want all of us to sing children. Sing with me. Hello, 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 how do you do? I'm glad to be with you, and you, and you, and you. What an excellent way to start the day. Good morning, children. Welcome to English Academy, only here in the Radio Escuela sa Isabela. I am your teacher on air, Teacher Donita Jane B. Canceran. As we start our lesson for today, I want you to wear your best smile. Be glad that God gave you another day to live, to love, and to learn. Am I right, children? That's nice to hear. At this moment, I want you to get your English learning activity sheets. Our lesson is writing paragraphs showing a problem-solution relationship. So, I will give you 5 seconds to get your learning activity sheets in English. Your time starts now. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Time's up! Are you now ready, children? Give me a resounding yes! Oh, yeah! Okay, I heard you loud and clear. Children, have you experienced any problems at school or at home? Hmm. Really? Do you want to share it with us? How did you solve it? Wow, that was cool. When I was a kid, one of the problems I encountered was when I lost my notebook and our teacher needed to check it. I was so worried that day. But to solve the problem, I told my teacher that I lost it and I tried my best to look for it. Fortunately, I found it under my chair. I was so happy back then because I was able to solve the problem that I encountered. Today, we will learn about problem and solution relationships in paragraphs. We will be dealing with issues and solutions today. Exciting, right? Fasten your seatbelts as we start our lesson. Now, get your notebook, pen, and learning activity sheet as we begin our lesson. Is that clear? Right. Children, are you holding your learning activity sheets now? Very good. Open your learning activity sheet on page 21. What do we mean by problem and solution? Very good. A problem is something that happens that you need to fix. A solution is what we need to do to fix the problem. It is a type of text structure where the author states a problem and solution in a passage. In saying the problem and solution of a paragraph, begin with the presentation of a problem between individuals, among groups, or an issue going on in the world. This is followed by one or more possible solutions that are explained. Being able to identify the problem solution will help you understand the text better. To know what I am telling, I want you to listen carefully to this paragraph. Jeremy is going to watch for the first time a musical play, The Beauty and the Beast at the Cultural Center of the Philippines or the CCP Chatter. The problem was that Jeremy didn't know much about the presentation. So, to solve his dilemma, he took some action. First, he went to the library and read about musical plays. Then, he borrowed a book in which he could read about Beauty and the Beast. Little did he know that his best friend's aunt was a stage performer. So, he met her to personally ask about the play. After accomplishing all of these, he confidently watched the play with his friends and was very appreciative of the opportunity. Now, children, based on the paragraph, what is Jeremy's problem? Correct! Jeremy didn't know about the presentation, Beauty and the Beast. What did he do to solve the problem? Very good! To solve the problem, he did the following. First, he went to the library and read about musical plays. Then, 
he borrowed a book in which he could read about Beauty and the Beast. Little did he know that his best friend's aunt was a stage performer. So, he met her to personally ask about the play. Congratulations, children! You were able to identify the problem and the solution in the paragraph. As they say, practice makes perfect. That is why I prepared some problems and solutions in our activities. Are you ready? I will give you a problem and I want you to tell me the possible solution to solve the problem. Did you understand? Alright, here we go. Your bike got a flat tire on your way to school. What could be the solution? Very good! Bring home your bike and you can ask your father to repair it for you. What about this problem? You received a failing score in your periodical exam. What will you do to solve this problem? Brilliant! You need to study more to get a passing mark. How about this one? Mother lost her money that's intended for buying a sack of rice. What will you do? That's right! You can help her complain to the police for help. What about this? Her friend's pants were torn when you played tagging each other. What is the solution? Of course! He can go home and change his pants. Clap your hands, children! You are indeed a good problem solver. Keep it up! But wait! Always remember, there are many ways to solve a problem. Just make sure that your solutions are reasonable and won't harm other people. This time, level up your skills about identifying problems and solutions. Read the statement on page 22 of your activity sheet. The term name if the underlined phrase states a problem or a solution. Let's start with number one. Mother bought a new school bag for Mira. Mira's bag was already worn out. The underlined sentence is, Mother purchased a new school bag for Mira. Is it a solution or a problem? Very good! The underlined sentence is a solution. Number two, some people were not included in the social amelioration program. They went to inquire to the barangay chairman. The underlined sentence is, they went to ask their barangay chairman. Is it a solution or a problem? Correct! The sentence is a solution. Let's proceed to number 3. Miss Rosales cannot find her wallet. She went to ask the help of her friend. The underlined sentence is, she went to ask the help of her friend. Is it a solution or a problem? Impressive! The underlined sentence is a solution. Number 4. Nico studied his lesson very well. He failed in two subjects in the previous quarter. The underlined sentence is, He failed in two subjects in the previous quarter. Solution or problem? Excellent children, it's a problem. Number 5. Mrs. Mendoza's daughter has been sick for a week. She brought her to the hospital yesterday. The underlined sentence is, Mrs. Mendoza's daughter has been ill for a week. Is it a solution or a problem? Correct, it's a problem. Did you understand our lesson for today? Very good. Let me ask you some questions. What do we mean again by problem and solution? Wow, nice recalling. A problem is something that happens that you need to fix. This text begins with presenting a problem between individual, among groups, or an issue going on in the world. This is followed by one or more possible solutions that are explained. 
being able to identify the problem solution will help you understand the text better. Wow! It seems that you really understood our lesson. Because of that, children, I want you to get your quiz form from your kids. Fill out the needed information. Write your name, section, and the date today. Did you understand? Alright! Now we are all set for the quiz. It's time for you to be challenged. On page 23 of your activity sheet, do activity 3. What solution can you give to the following problems? Write your answer on a separate sheet of paper. Number 1. Nadia is new in her school. She has no friends yet. No one seems to befriend her. What solution can you do so Nadia could have a friend? Next, number 2. The news of a strong typhoon was announced on TV. Mom Toby's family lives near the river and their house is already old and weak. What could be the best solution so Mom Toby's family could be safe from the typhoon? Number 3. Miss Reyes has been suffering from a cough and sore throat for a week. She also complains of headaches and a lack of taste in the food she takes. What could be the solution to Miss Reyes' problem? Number 4. The schools have been closed for many months. Mrs. Cora visited her school one day and saw the dirt and dust is scattered everywhere. Will you give a solution to Miss Cora's problem? And last, number 5. The plants in the garden are withered because of the prolonged drought. Elise wants to water them, but there is no water source nearby where she can get water. What could be the solution to Elise's problem? I will give you more time to scribble your answers in your answer sheets. Remember children, there are many ways to solve a problem. Just make sure that your solutions are reasonable and won't harm other people. Is that clear? May bagong virus na kumakalat ngayon At naaalarma ang buong nation Para di daw mahawa ito ang solusyon Kaya sunding mabuti itong instructions Maghugas ng kamay para virus mamatay Iwasan ding humawak sa yung mouth mo sa eyes Para COVID-19 hindi na makapusa Mag-face mask at mag children are you ready to know your scores in the quiz all right let's check your quiz number one Nadja is new in her school she has no friends yet no one seems to befriend her what solution can you do so Nadja could have a friend very good you can approach and befriend her. Number two, the news of a strong typhoon was announced on TV. Mang Toby's family live near the river and their house is already old and weak. What could be the best solution so Mang Toby's family could be safe from the typhoon? Excellent! The best solution for Mang Toby's family to be safe is to go to the evacuation center. Number three, Miss Reyes has been suffering from cough and sore throat for a week. She also complains of headaches and a lack of taste in the food she takes. What could be the best solution to Miss Reyes' problem? Yes, Miss Reyes should consult a doctor immediately. Number 4. The schools have been closed for many months. Mrs. Cora visited her school one day and saw the dirt and dust is scattered everywhere. Will you give a solution to Miss Cora's problem? Alright! Mrs. Cora should clean at the school and she may also ask others help in cleaning. Number 5. The plants in the garden are withered because of the prolonged drought. Elise wants to water them, but there is no nearby water source to get some water. What could be the solution to Elise's problem? 
for your answer in number 5, I want you to comment down your answer in the comment section below. Our radio hosts will read your answers in a while. I repeat, for your answers in number 5, please comment them down in the comment section below. That ends our short quiz, children. Be sure that you have answered all the items. If you have some questions, you may also write them down and submit it together with your learning activity sheets. Learning is fun, right? You did a fantastic job. That ends our lesson for today. Stay tuned only here in Radio Escuela Sa Isabela for more fun and exciting episode of English Academy. On behalf of our scriptwriter, Ma'am Christine Lejano Gonzalez, and the SDO Isabella RBI production team, this is your teacher on air, Teacher Lanita Jean B. Canceran, saying that every problem has a solution. If it doesn't have a solution, then maybe it's not a problem. Let's all be safe and spread good vibes amidst pandemic. See you next time. Goodbye.